Hello all you lovely horror geeks. Get ready for another installment of Horrific Goodness. Today we are taking a look at some of the best weapons used in horror movies. So sit back and enjoy the carnage or lack thereof it as I, your lovely host Mercy Grimm, take you on a trip through horror movie weapons history. Before we get started, I just want to remind you all that your support is genuinely appreciated. If you love what I do here, then please consider subscribing. Thank you to all of my new subscribers, by the way. The channel has grown so much in just the past few weeks, and I really appreciate all of you. All right now, on to the video. Coming at you with our first and most obvious choice, the classic knife. Usually a butcher's knife or a kitchen knife. We see this knife wielded by many a horror villain. The best examples are Chucky from Child's Play, Michael Myers from Halloween, and Ghostface from Scream. For these killers, the knife wasn't necessarily their weapon of choice, but it was the one they would always be seen using. For Michael, there was a significant reason he would sneak into the houses of unsuspecting people and steal their kitchen knife, killing them in one swift motion on his way out. That is because this was the weapon he used to kill his own sister when he was a child. But for Ghostface, we can see them using other means of disposal when necessary, but the first weapon of choice is a hunter's knife, great for gutting, which was a specialty of Ghostface. For Chucky, it became a mere weapon of convenience because he had easy access to it in the apartment from the first movie. For whatever reason it may have been, the classic kitchen knife is always a good go-to for the slasher. The next weapon is a bit more niche, but still used, mostly by a very specific killer, Jason Voorhees. That would be the machete, of course. Fun fact for Friday fans, Jason didn't really get his weapon of choice until midway into the second movie, much like his iconic hockey mask, which actually didn't come until the third movie. And even though Jason is synonymous with the machete, we can always see him improvising with other weapons and common household items. <laughs> Where's the corkscrew? <laughs> for our next weapon, we have to put this toward the top. Much like the machete, it is a very niche weapon, but still well known to the horror community. The chainsaw. We all know where this crazy destructive weapon comes from. Thank Leatherface for making the chainsaw his murder weapon of choice, surely for its length and ease of both terrifying and taking out his prey. Or if you're being really specific, his next facial accessory. Now, on the other side of the spectrum, and this is just as important to mention, we also have an iconic horror badass hero of sorts, who currently has a chainsaw for a hand. That would be everyone's favorite best boy from the Evil Dead series, Ash. Now, I know this list is mostly about killer weapons, but the chainsaw hand is one killer weapon, if you ask me. But now, let's take a walk down Lover's Lane and remember the classic hook. From the old scary story of the hook man from the asylum who escapes and is out on the prowl, to Candyman's hook. A simple steel hook has always been a horror classic. Great for hanging up your prey to try. This next one is mostly known for being used in those niche good vampire and werewolf horror movies, and of course in Jaws, with the likes of An American Werewolf in London and Ginger Snaps, and On to Dracula, Interview with a Vampire, and of course Let the Right One In. Teeth is what I'm talking about, obviously, but there's a special horror movie that I have to add to this biteable list that is the movie of its namesake teeth. If you've ever seen this movie, then you know they have an unconventional killer. Something crazy you'd never expect. I actually want to cover teeth in depth on this channel at some point because it is not what you're expecting, I guarantee you. So let's talk about another niche weapon, and I'm actually saying this with air quotes because it is not a physical weapon, it is a mental one. The most famous and albeit anti-hero type character to exhibit these powers is Carrie from the Stephen King book adaptation of Carrie. A shy girl at first, confused about the world and about womanhood. And for that, she gets abused by her classmates. And this awakens her powers. You noticed? Relatively, in all of these types of movies with supernatural powers, the character will have some sort of emotional awakening and be able to use them. Her abilities, Carrie's, are telekinetic, and uh, she did not understand them, and obviously she did not live in the right environment to be able to understand them. So in her anger and shame, she used them in a negative way, turning her into the villain of the story, which I don't think everyone really saw coming the first time they ever saw Carrie 
or even Red Carrie. Now, unlike Carrie, there's another girl, Tina Shepard from the Friday the 13th, The New Blood, who unlocks her powers as well in a crazy and upsetting way. She saves herself from her abusive alcoholic father, so I consider this to be a positive way to use her powers in, it, in its own right. Uh, she uh, also uses them to fight Jason throughout the whole, the whole entire movie. And let me tell you, it is fun to see a final girl in a Friday movie actually go toe-to-toe with our hockey mask machete wielder. Now, as our last weapon, I cannot forget about the axe. Or hatchet, if you want to get real specific. We see this used most famously in Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. Our crazy protagonist, Jack, wields this wild weapon when he loses his mind and is literally on the hunt for his family. We also see some action, get it, action, in the original Friday the 13th and obviously in the movie named Hatchet. There are other movies that are also quite famous for having axes in them. Your Next is a great example, even in the... um. One of the examples um, for the trailers for the movie, you can see in the thumbnail, she's wielding the axe in the window. And the axe is pretty synonymous with that movie as well. It's not the best weapon used in the movie, obviously. Now, I want to add this in as a little bonus at the end. If you have not seen your next, please do not listen to this part. Um, This is the end of the video, basically, so if you've never seen your next... You have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. But I want to add this in. So major spoilers for your next. I, well, I guess major in a way. It's just one kill. The most unconventional yet amazingly thought-out horror weapon in horror movie history, the most amazing kill from your next is when she takes that blender, smashes it on his head, turns it on, and puts the blade part in his head. That is a blender weapon. Aaron from your next, thank you. That is so cool. It was probably one of my favorite parts of the movie. It's so crazy, so amazing, so unthought of at the time because, you know, you just get these classic melee weapons and then she's coming at you with a blender. She was a survivalist, so she had all these crazy ways to take out all of the people who were trying to kill her in the movie, which I thought was awesome. She's that type of final girl that does not give up. But I had to include the blender on this list for that reason, as a little bonus. I didn't even have that one written in the script, guys. So, from the simple knife to the complexity of supernatural powers, horror movies have so many different types of cool and crazy weapons a lot of which I don't have room for on this list. In the comments, please leave your favorite horror movie weapon, and of course, don't forget to include the movie it came from. You might get a lovely comment from yours truly if I've seen it. Everyone, I hope you have a horrific day, and I will see you all next time. Until then. I know I already said it earlier in the video, but I wanted to say thank you once again to all of my lovely subscribers and all of the amazing people who appreciate my channel and listen to it when a new video comes out. I really appreciate all of you. And if you're new here and you liked this video, please consider subscribing and also hitting that notification bell so you get notified of every time I drop a horrific video. Also, if you liked this video, please give it a like. It shows that you care and you would like to see more content from me. I hope everyone does have a horrific day and I will see you all next time. Until then. And just a little side note for you guys, we will be getting to the worst weapons used in horror movie history in a later video. I know it says in the title card that we are talking about the best and the worst, but this is just for the best. The worst is coming next week, so make sure you come back next week to watch to find out the worst weapons used in horror movie history. I have some uh, really fun gifts that I'm going to include in that one. <laughs> See you guys next time.